Hello everyone, I'm Storm Tracker 18 meteorologist Austin Haskins. It was another warm and sunny day on our Monday with high temperatures mid to upper 80s, even red wing getting to 90 degrees. Well, today and Wednesday is going to be pretty much the same thing. Clear to partly cloudy skies both days, very warm, a bit breezy. It'll be still a bit muggy today, but it'll be a little less humid on Wednesday. You'll see that here coming up. We're tracking a chance for scattered showers and storms on Thursday. The coverage and the chances have increased a little bit, and we could possibly even see now a few strong to even severe storms. We'll take a look at that here as well. Then into the weekend and early next week, we're still looking at a chance for some showers around, maybe an isolated thunderstorm or two, but there's still a lot of questions remain kind of on the timing and the track of the system and kind of the coverage of rain. So uh, we'll kind of briefly take a look at that, but we're going to worry more about that as we get later on into the week once we get some uh, fresher data that comes in. Well, is an agreement, though, at least to some degrees, that some cooler temperatures will slowly move in and by that at least a little bit closer to more mid to late September standards. So the wind for today, again, today, tomorrow, and even into Thursday, it's not going to be anything crazy, but it will certainly be noticeable. We'll have winds generally in the 5 to 15 mile per hour range with gusts between 15 and maybe as high as 25 miles per hour. So again, noticeable, but nothing, you know, 30, 40, 50 mile an hour gusts, nothing like that. Now the muggy meter, as I mentioned, we're still going to be in that muggy category today, but we're going to take things back down into the pleasant to noticeable category tomorrow, despite the fact the wind is still going to be out of the south and southeast. But into Thursday, it'll start to come back up ahead of a cold front that will bring our next chance for those showers and storms coming up on Thursday. But we won't have to worry about any rain for the next couple of days, but we certainly do need some rain. I'm sure some lawns are looking probably a little brown and you know, certainly could at least use a little bit of moisture uh, considering we haven't really had much since we had about one to two inches of rain back on August 29th, which was actually the last time we had a threat for severe weather in our region. Heading into tomorrow, not much expected change wise in the forecast. Again, just a touch less humid. That's about it. And a few extra clouds around heading into late tomorrow afternoon into tomorrow night. As we get towards Thursday morning, we'll be tracking a chance for scattered showers and storms moving in from Minnesota into our region. This will be with us through the morning hours in some capacity. You can see kind of the scattered uh, natureness of it. There could be maybe a couple stronger storms, but as we get into Thursday evening, we're going to see more showers and storms develop as the cold front makes its way through. And as you'll see here coming up, as I mentioned earlier, that's where we do have the risk of maybe seeing a strong to severe storm or two. Now the rain chances are highest tomorrow, uh, Thursday into Thursday night at about 40 to 50% for the coverage. So it's a pretty decent chance most spots will at least see a little bit of rain. And then right now just slight chances from Saturday, Sunday and into early next week. But again, we're going to be watching that a little bit closely because still the data is kind of uh, going in every which direction and kind of how that will play out. So we'll keep you updated there. Now rain the next three days. So this is for Thursday and Thursday night system. It's nothing impressive by any means, but any rain that we can get at this point in the game will certainly help. We're looking at anywhere from a couple hundredths of an inch to about a quarter of an inch. A couple of the higher totals could be upwards of a half inch if we get under some heavier showers and storms if they were to develop. Now the threat for severe weather. We have a level one and a level two out of five risk in place. Uh, that means isolated to scattered severe storms are possible. The level two risk runs from Siren to New Richmond to Red Wing and areas west. The level one risk goes out to Wisconsin Highway 27. So that runs from about Ladysmith to Stanley, Augusta, Fairchild, Black River Falls and areas west. All hazards are possible with any storms that could turn severe on Thursday, but really hail and wind are going to be the main threats. And again, this will likely change in the next day or so. So stay with Storm Tracker 18 uh, for the latest updates on that. Highs today, mid to upper 80s once again. Maybe some spots getting close to that 90 degree mark, just like we had the last couple of days. And then tonight we're back into the 50s to low 60s with mid 60s closer to the Minnesota border and even 40s in Black River Falls as they're typically cooler down in the valley. Highs tomorrow, mid to upper 80s once again. Maybe a degree or two cooler overall compared to the last couple of days. And then we'll drop a few more degrees on Thursday, but still looking at mostly uh, mid 80s across the region. And then we'll still be in the mid 80s on Friday will dry out and then we'll have those slight chances for rain around Saturday through Monday around 80 Saturday, but then Sunday, Monday, just in time for the first day of fall on Sunday, high temperatures back into the low to mid 70s.